first at 10, a developing story. The White House was briefly placed on lockdown tonight as protesters marched in D.C. This is in response to the killing of George Floyd in Minneapolis this weekend. There were some small clashes with police, but for the most part, it was peaceful. The former Minneapolis police officer accused of killing Floyd is now in custody. 44-year-old Derek Chauvin is being held in the adult detention center Ramsey County Jail in St. Paul, Minnesota. Here is a live look in Minneapolis tonight. It appears there is another fire right now, and this is the fourth night of protest. The National Guard is currently patrolling the city in response to two days of rioting and looting. A curfew was put in place tonight and tomorrow in the Twin Cities. Earlier this week, the city dismissed the four officers who were involved in the incident, which was captured on video. One of them, Derek Chauvin, is now facing criminal charges, which were announced today. Former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin has been charged by the Hennepin County Attorney's Office with murder and with manslaughter. The investigation is ongoing. Uh, we felt it appropriate to focus on the most dangerous perpetrator. Chauvin is now awaiting his first court appearance, which is expected on Monday at Hennepin County Court in Minneapolis on third degree murder and manslaughter charges. New tonight at 10, our Adam Duxter spoke with a local Madison-based attorney about the significance of the charges the officer is facing and what could happen next. Adam? Charlotte, attorney Chris Van Wagner has decades of legal experience covering cases from local to the federal level. Yet he says what happened in Minneapolis is one of the most unique things he's seen. It will be prosecuted that way because of it. Local attorney Chris Van Wagner says when cases gain national notoriety, he pays close attention. And since early this week, that attention has gone towards the taped killing of George Floyd. What happened in Minnesota has everybody's attention. The whole world is watching. He says the actions of police officer Derek Chauvin, all caught on tape, are a crucial level of evidence for a potential courtroom jury. In modern era cases, video is a big part of cases. Rarely, rarely do we have the entire sequence of relevant events captured on at least one video. The officer charged with third degree murder, which Van Wagner says isn't terminology Wisconsinites are used to because murder isn't classified that way here. And they call it murder in the third degree um, without intent to kill anybody to affect the death without intent to kill. You cause the death of somebody else and you do so by committing an act that is so eminently or inherently dangerous to somebody else that you have a, that show a depraved mind. Van Wagner says the biggest thing keeping Chauvin away from first degree murder charges would be the burden on prosecutors to prove intent. Given the video evidence, this longtime attorney says the charges fit and have a strong likelihood of holding up in a court of law. I think that he will be convicted of the charge they filed, which is murder in the third degree, which has a maximum of 25 years in prison. I asked Van Wagner about the other officers involved on that day, and he says time will tell and that he knows prosecutors in Minneapolis are still reviewing all the evidence. In Milwaukee this afternoon, protesters took to downtown. Some of them even walked onto I-43 and blocked traffic. Sheriff's deputies in riot gear were present at the courthouse. The Milwaukee Journal Sentinel reports the group was largely peaceful but energized. There were also rallies held in several other states today. This is video from the CNN World Headquarters in downtown Atlanta. A few fires were set outside the same building. Rallies are also taking place in Texas, Ohio, New York, Colorado, and Massachusetts, just to name a few. In San Jose, California, windows were smashed out of vehicles and a car was set on fire. Tomorrow, a Justice for George protest is planned in Madison. According to the Facebook event, it is from noon to 3 o'clock at the Capitol. More than 1,500 people have marked that they are going. The description says social distancing will be practiced. President Trump is again coming under fire for his response to the protests and rioting. Overnight, he tweeted in part, Quote, when the looting starts, the shooting starts, end quote, which is a racially charged phrase from the 60s. Twitter put a warning label on it, saying it was inciting violence. He addressed the tweet today at the White House and what he says he meant by it. Frankly, it means when there's looting, people get shot and they die 
And if you look at what happened last night and the night before, you see that. It's very common. And that's the way that was meant, and that's the way I think it was supposed to be meant. But I don't know where it came from. I don't know where it originated. I wouldn't know. Former Vice President Joe Biden said today he spoke with the family of George Floyd. In a recorded message to the country, he said, it is time for us to take a hard look at the uncomfortable truths of racism in America. Now, the latest additions to the endless list of stolen potential wiped out unnecessarily. You know, it's a list that dates back more than 400 years. Black men, black women, black children. The original sin of this country still stains our nation today. And sometimes we manage to overlook it. We just push forward with a thousand other tasks in our daily life. But it's always there. In weeks like this, we see it plainly that we're a country with an open wound. In his message, he goes on to say this is a national crisis and this is not the time to encourage violence. And as this story continues to develop, be sure to stay with News 3 Now and Channel3000.com for the latest updates out of the Twin Cities and all across the country. Be sure to download our News 3 Now app for that information on the go. All right, let's turn things over to weather now. Here's Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti with our first warn forecast. Well, Charlotte, we started out today with sunshine. We had some clouds this afternoon, and then we cleared out again towards sunset. Let's take a look at the time lapse from the WIC Sky Cam showing beautifully sunny skies this morning. Then the clouds came in this afternoon, didn't bring any rain though, and notice how they cleared out very nicely as we got towards sunset. And we'll be looking for clear skies tonight. Doppler radar, not a drop of rain across the state right now. Temperatures uh, started out in the mid 60s here in Madison. A few places got a little warmer. Uh, Janesville topped out at 70, but most areas stayed in the 60s today. Current temperatures have fallen into the middle 50s. And with that dry air, those temperatures will continue to cool off overnight. Look for those temperatures to fall into the upper 40s by early tomorrow morning before starting to climb back into the upper 60s tomorrow afternoon. Looking for a high of 67 under sunny skies. Sunday will be about the same, but a big warm-up is on the way starting Tuesday of next week. We'll have more details and weather in a few minutes. State health officials have confirmed 18 new deaths today linked to the coronavirus, as well as nearly 600 new cases. Of those tested, 5.4% came back positive, which is up slightly from yesterday's 4.8%. DHS says the state's testing capacity has also increased. They say more than 13,000 tests have been conducted since yesterday across 56 active labs. We're also getting updated numbers tonight about the number of cases in Dane County, according to Public Health Madison and Dane County. As of this morning, 27 more people tested positive over the last 24 hours, bringing the total in Dane County to 713. 14 of these new positives are from the community test site at the Align Energy Center. Three are from the VA hospital, and 10 are from other sites like doctor's offices, hospitals, and clinics. The State Department of Corrections says there are at least 184 positive cases of coronavirus confirmed at Wapan Corrections. Correctional institution. Testing there was completed this week and the results are still coming in, meaning that number could still go up. In total, the DOC says the National Guard has tested more than 7,000 inmates around the state. Wisconsin is seeing its first cases of a rare sickness in children linked to COVID-19. Doctors at Children's Wisconsin say there have been seven cases of multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children in the state since April. A majority of the cases in southeast Wisconsin, five of those children were discharged after a short hospital stay. Two remain hospitalized, but are in good condition. It causes inflammation of the organs, including the heart, lungs, kidneys, skin, eyes, and brain. While doctors do not know for sure how this is being spread, they say it's likely a post-infectious complication of COVID-19. COVID-19 was first reported about six months ago. So while we know a lot about COVID-19, we, we still have a lot more to learn. And in a very similar way, uh, this syndrome is something even newer and, and more recently recognized. So there is still quite a bit to learn about it as we um, produce information and share information. So the symptoms include persistent fever, abdominal pain, rash, redness in the eyes, trouble breathing, vomiting, diarrhea, and feeling tired. Children's Wisconsin is trying to set up a pathway for all doctors to follow when treating children with the syndrome since there isn't a set treatment. More than a month after freezing funding to the World Health Organization, the president announced he is pulling the U.S. out of the group because he says they did not make the changes the U.S. demanded. Natalie Brand reports.
President Trump announced the U.S. is pulling out of the World Health Organization. We will be today terminating our relationship with the World Health Organization and redirecting those funds to other worldwide and deserving urgent global public health needs. The change comes as the U.S. death toll from the coronavirus surpassed 100,000 this week. He blames the organization for its response to the pandemic and accuses them of favoring China. China has total control over the World Health Organization, despite only paying $40 million per year compared to what the United States has been paying, which is approximately 450 million dollars a year. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House. And new tonight, the 2020 Rock County 4-H Fair will no longer happen this year. Board President Ryan George announced the cancellation this afternoon, citing community health concerns and the fact that the Rock County Fairgrounds are serving as a COVID-19 isolation center. In a letter to exhibitors, the board says they've scheduled the 2021 4-H Fair for July 27th through August 1st. Also announced today, the annual tour of America's Dairyland bike race is being postponed until the next year, meaning the Janesville Town Square Grand Prix is also postponed until then. The Janesville legs of the event was scheduled for the sixth day to, of the race series this year. The event was held in downtown Janesville in 2018 and 2019, and organizers say it received a warm welcome from the community, but now we'll have to wait until 2020 for this to return. As we learned more about what the requirements were going to be for a large event, the fun was going to be removed from it. Last year, more than 5,000 people took part in the race, including professionals, Olympians, and amateurs. Riders who already registered for this year's event will be offered the option of a credit for next year or a refund if they so choose. We note the passing tonight of a former Madison Children's TV host and one of the first minorities on local newscasts. Marlene Cummings hosted her show on WISC TV back in the 1970s, focusing on relationships and later was named secretary of the Department of Regulations and Licensing by Governor Tommy Thompson in 2003. She was named a recipient of the state Martin Luther King Heritage Awards. She died in Chicago after battling Parkinson's. Marlene Cummings was 84 years old. We'll be right back. This is our home. We've never seen it look quite like this. But there's no mistaking it. And it's our job to protect it. Because the best people to fight for our communities are those within them. So if you've just bought a Volkswagen or we're thinking of buying sometime soon, we're here to help with the community-driven promise. I do all my shoe shopping at Rogan's because I know that I find what I'm looking for and save. You can count on great service, a huge selection, the best name brands, and the second pair is half price. And one more thing, a choice in how you save. I can get my second pair half price now or just save my receipt, come back anytime, and get my next pair for half price. Rogan's makes saving easy. Selection, service, name brands, and the second pair is half price. Visit online at roganshoes.com. My mom is 81, and I worry about her. So I went online and found the new Lively Mobile Plus from Great Call. If she ever needs help, she can just press the button. And with the Great Call Link app, I'll get an alert right on my smartphone if she does contact Five Star. With the fastest call response time, they'll assess your situation, confirm your location, and send you the help you need. Now more affordable with 50% off for a limited time. AARP members get an exclusive discount on select plans. Engines are restarting, park is shifting to drive. So we're offering 0% financing for 72 months and no payments for 120 days. Plus the freedom to shop and buy online. Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram will help you drive forward. Or now during the Jeep Memorial Day sales event with employee pricing at 5611 below MSRP on the purchase of a 2020 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited.
Friday morning, we're counting down to the historic SpaceX launch, which isn't expected to run into any delays this time around. And weather isn't expected to cause any problems here in Madison either. We'll see you starting at 5 o'clock Saturday. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Welcome back. A Fort Atkinson man is in custody. He's accused of burning down a home in Janesville yesterday by throwing what police are calling a lit object into the home. 30-year-old Jacob Piper was taken into custody yesterday afternoon. Officers say he could face multiple charges, including five counts of attempted first-degree intentional homicide and one count of arson. Firefighters responded to the home on South Franklin Street yesterday morning. Officials say the majority of the fire was put out in 20 minutes, but the house is considered a total loss. Damages are estimated to be around $150,000. No one was injured. Visions Nightclub in Madison will no longer be able to have adult entertainment. According to Alder Paul Skidmore, Madison's Alcohol License and Review Committee met last night. He says the city's attorney and clerk say that Visions renewed their adult entertainment license last July but did not pay the fee, so their license is now invalid. The ALCR is recommending that there will be no adult entertainment at the strip club. Skidmore says the city cannot renew a license that was not valid. This is not uh, an attempt to get rid of visions. This is an attempt to make sure that we dot the I's, cross the T's, and treat them the same way we do others. We reached out to the attorneys for visions, and they say they should have been alerted by the city that the fee wasn't paid, and they are now considering all of their options. New video now was set back today for SpaceX. During a test, the company's latest Starship SN4 prototype exploded. This happened at SpaceX's test facility near Boca Chica, Texas, just before 2 o'clock. The prototype exploded right after an engine test, erupting into a fireball that obscures that rocket in flames. SpaceX says today's explosion has absolutely nothing to do with tomorrow's second attempt at history. After Wednesday's mission was scrubbed due to bad weather, the two NASA astronauts will suit up once again tomorrow and board the first spacecraft built by a private company approved to launch. NASA says right now it's a 50-50 chance the launch will happen because of weather. If tomorrow's mission is postponed, they will try again on Sunday. And here's Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti with a look at our forecast. Well, if they're launching SpaceX from here, it'd be a beautiful uh, day tomorrow uh, for a launch with clear skies and Starting tonight, we're going on Friday and Saturday nights, we'll be doing a Madison Lakes update as far as uh, what kind of weather conditions we can expect and what the lake and beach conditions are. This is the latest information from the Clean Lakes Alliance in Madison. You can find out more information. Just go to lakeforecast.org. Lake water temperature right now in Lake Mendota is 66 degrees. Right now, all the Madison beaches remain closed. They officially don't open until the weekend of June 14th and 15th, uh, but we will show if uh, beaches are open, if they're open but have some uh, poor water quality, or if there are beaches that are closed on each of the Madison Lakes. And if you're going to be out and about tomorrow around the Madison Lakes, uh, boating uh, should be a great day for that. Sunny skies, high temperature 67 degrees. Winds generally in the 8 to 15 mile per hour range shouldn't cause too much of a problem with waves. Sunday, pretty much the same story. High temperature at 69 degrees. No threat, obviously, of thunderstorms or inclement weather. Doppler track right now, free of precipitation across the upper Midwest. Looks like we'll stay dry through the weekend. Next chance of rain will be on Monday. So 60s for high temperatures tomorrow and Sunday. Then a warm front arrives with some showers and thunderstorms on Monday. And the temperatures really take off after that. We're looking for highs in the 80s beginning on Tuesday. Just looking at the latest computer model forecast, they now have Madison with a projected high of 90 on Tuesday. So we could go from the upper 60s to 90 in just two days. I think right now I've got a forecast high of 85. We'll leave it there, or 84. We'll leave that uh, there for right now. You can see uh, temperatures right, right now are in influenced by that northwesterly wind flow aloft, but not far to our west. That jet stream is pushing northward. That's always a sign that we look for, for an expanding atmosphere where the heat starts to build. And so this stationary front that's out to the west divides warmer air to the west to cooler air where we are right now. In fact, if you take a look at uh, the high temperatures today, we were in the mid-60s. There were 70s to our west. That's about average for this time of year. But notice Denver. They were close to 90 degrees. Temperatures in the 80s into the western portions of Nebraska. Right now, temperatures are 
in the 50s and 60s here, still a little milder out to the west of us. Dew point temperatures are down, but eventually as those southerly winds pick up, they'll start to bring back moisture and we'll start to feel humid by Tuesday as well. On future track, relatively quiet conditions for tonight, mostly clear skies, lows in the upper 40s, lots of sunshine for tomorrow, high temperatures in the upper 60s. Tomorrow night, light winds, clear skies, temperatures will drop into the middle 40s, but on Sunday already those winds start to become southwesterly, high temperatures will be in the upper 60s. Notice on Monday, the clouds starting to move in, maybe a shower or thunderstorm chance, and then those winds really pick up out of the south and southwest, and that's where the temperatures really start to increase. So for tomorrow, look for sunny skies, high temperature at 67 degrees, and as we check out the 7 to 10 day forecast, 69 on Sunday, Monday shower and thunderstorm chances, and then 86 on Tuesday with heat index values perhaps close to 90, but again, latest computer model forecast show these temperatures might even be a couple of degrees higher as we go through the rest of next week and into next weekend. There'll be some thunderstorm chances because of the humidity. Most of the time it won't be raining, so very typical summer-like forecast. Okay, the weekend, cool, but at least we have full sunshine. Yeah, this weekend, great. Next weekend, a little different story. Well, we'll deal with that later. <laughs> Thank you, Gary. Sure. And just ahead in sports, Giannis is teaming up and giving back what the Bucks star is doing with Ready Nutrition and how he's helping Milwaukee schools. Zaxon next with sports. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. The open road, the wind in your hair, the feeling of freedom that drives us to go out and discover. At Chevy, we're committed to getting you there with confidence and peace of mind. If you need a new Chevy, interest-free APR financing for 84 months on many of our most popular models. You may even shop online and take delivery at home where available. And when you do, your Chevy Clean dealers commit to using enhanced vehicle cleaning measures with CDC-approved cleansers. So you can find new roads with confidence. Ensure carefully. Dream fearlessly. U.S. Cellular. Yeah. New customer. What's the deal? Unlimited data, just $30 a month. But what's the deal with the signal? It works everywhere. It's crazy. You're going into signal shock just briefly. Unlimited data. Strong signal. Strong signal. All for $30 a month. U.S. Cellular. And now when you switch, you can also get $700 off the latest phones with no trade-in required. Now that's fair. U.S. Cellular. Choose fair. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I solemnly swear that I'll support the veterans of the United States Armed Forces. I will defend the Constitution against all enemies that I will commit to ensuring they are not forgotten. And I will obey the orders of the President of the United States. And I will enable veterans to live the same life of opportunity they have provided me. So help me God. When America needed us to build, we built. Masks, ventilators, shields. When frontliners needed support, Ford dealers answered. And now we're open and ready to serve you. With exciting special offers and deals across the Ford lineup. Stop by a Ford dealership or go online. We've made it safer to shop, easier to buy. Right now, qualified buyers can get 0% financing for 84 months, plus three months deferred payments on select 2019 Ford vehicles. We're back. We got to go Oh, good. What a treat after a long week and no cleanup. When you can't dine in, then get it to go and support our restaurants during Madison Magazine's Restaurant Week to Go. Two weeks of fabulous to-go menus you'll love. Visit madisonmagazine.com for details and menus. Restaurant Week to Go, presented by Kessnick's. Food service design, equipment, and supplies. I guess there is still cleanup to do. wins the division title on a trip to the NFC Championship game. What a first year it was for Matt LaFleur. The guy can coach, and let's be honest, 
he's got a great head of hair too. And one would think with a style like that, always nice, tight and trimmed, Lafleur would be going a little crazy, not being able to get his hair cut right now. Well, that's not the case. The Packers head coach said on Wildey and Tausch earlier in the week, thanks to his college roommate, he can cut his own hair. I started to experiment by myself and I would, I would cut my own hair and usually mess it up and then he would, he would fix it and clean it up for me. When I got to a point, I did it so many times where I, I am now able to cut my own hair. So that's how I can uh, stay well groomed throughout the coronavirus. Way back on May 4th, the Big Ten extended its suspension of all organized team activities through June 1st. That's three days away, and the conference will vote on Monday whether to lift or extend the ban. June 1st is also the same day that the NCAA said football and basketball players can begin working out on campus. Confusing, right? As of today, five Big Ten football teams have released their specific dates for voluntary workouts. Wisconsin was not one of them. And on the hardwood, Giannis has a new teammate. The Bucks star is now part owner of Ready Nutrition, a company that produces all natural organic sports nutrition products like protein bars, powders, and protein water. And Giannis is already giving back, supplying 34,000 bottles of protein water and 34,000 protein bars to be included in the Milwaukee Public Schools daily meal program. Ready Nutrition is also donating 34,000 bottles to Milwaukee healthcare workers. We're back after this. He takes off again from the free throw line. National team missing on a three. When America needed us to build, we built masks, ventilators, shields. When frontliners needed support, Ford dealers answered. And now we're open and ready to serve you. With exciting special offers and deals across the Ford lineup. Stop by a Ford dealership or go online. We've made it safer to shop, easier to buy. Right now, qualified buyers can get 0% financing for 84 months, plus three months deferred payments on select 2019 Ford vehicles. Steinhoffels has been the name you trust for over 85 years. Right now, all living room, dining room, and bedroom furniture is on sale. Get 40 to 70% off on the largest selection of furniture, plus free no-contact shipping and no money down, five years to pay financing, plus an extra 10% off clearance. Get amazing deals on all of our mattresses like Tempur-Pedic, Beautyrest, and Purple. Shop our large showrooms where we've taken all the necessary steps to provide you a safe shopping experience. Shop in-store or online today during Steinhoffels Memorial Day Sale. While there's no instruction manual for what we're all going through now, there is Christian and Natalie and all our other associates at Pick and Save, working with one of the country's biggest supply chains for the Kroger family of brands, keeping our promise that our shelves will be continually stocked and that you'll always have access to the things you need. Because together, we've got you covered. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. To most people, the idea of fighting is unpleasant. But sometimes to make things right, it's necessary to fight. Some things are worth fighting for. If you or your family has been injured, you'll want a good law firm on your side to make things right again. Since 1930, Habish, Habish & Rotier has recovered more million dollar results for our clients than any other law firm in Wisconsin. Habish, Habish & Rotier. We fight for what's right. Ahead. Trust Toyota to be here for you. Right now, Toyota is offering 0% financing for 60 months on eight of our most popular Toyotas, like Camry, RAV4, and Tacoma. You can even shop and buy online from the comfort of your home. Many Toyota service centers are open to help keep your vehicle in top shape and may even offer no-contact vehicle drop-off. All from the brand you trust today and tomorrow. Toyota. Every day, our doctors and nurses, our cooks, housekeepers, therapists, and every member of your healthcare team give the most of themselves to care for you, to care for our community. These are your champions of health. Download the Channel 3000 app today. You're watching News 3 Now at 10.
And finally tonight, a group of soccer players are getting some special attention from their community after their senior season was canceled because of the coronavirus. The Mount Horror Vikings were treated to a parade, senior banners, and even fleece blankets made by the team's junior players. Proud mom and parade organizer Therese Coldhart says with just one day notice, the community was still very eager to lend its support. You see all these people driving by, you know some of them, but a lot of them are people you just don't even know, and yeah. they're still out here supporting us, and it's amazing. Even the fire trucks I got to call, I was not expecting that, so that was even cooler. Small town. Yep. Small, small town on love. <laughs> Most of these girls have been playing soccer together for over 10 years and all have plans to attend college in the fall. They say they look forward to getting back on the field as soon as possible. Wouldn't that be nice, Gary? Yeah, we're, we're seeing a lot of that. We had uh, cars honking in our neighborhood because mm -hmm. the eighth graders graduating. I got to give a shout out to my wife, Jean, who yes. retired tonight after 33 years of teaching. Congratulations, so. <laughs> Jean. Yeah, so she'll have a nice weekend to enjoy. Temperatures right now are in the middle 50s. Uh, dew point temperatures have dropped to around 50 so that's about where we expect low temperatures to be tonight look for sunny skies tomorrow high temperature topping out at 67 sunday just as nice with the high of 69 some thunderstorms on monday and then heat and humidity for much of next week through the following weekend all right gary thank you and thank you for joining us do something good be well and have a great weekend